that is going to be a good game. I'm excited. So put it in your calendars July 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th. Are you guys ready? It's how long? It's a minute, 52 seconds. So blink and you'll miss it. It says I've watched it. I like was scrolling and it started playing. I have not watched it yet. So. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. So first off, the graphics, of course, updated. Rapid Volley Ranger, 6E by... Made the, the magic-wielding mage. Okay, got it. Oh, what's that blast? Oh, did you see those foot traps? They looked... Oh, what was that? Okay, so we've got the, like... Oh my gosh, where you can't actually see anything. Hyper flatulence. Oh, new bosses, new enemies. Oh my gosh. Terrible cook killed you. Still with the building of the castle. Oh my gosh. Uh huh. Expand your armory. Did you just throw a spoon? Oh my gosh. What? What is this? A pirate ship? Oh my gosh, whole new biomes. What is what is that? What was with the okay, fire traps. I just love the look of like the of the, the, the graphics. It's Oh gosh. Oh, there was so much there. July 23rd for early access. So not even... Oh, they're doing the early access thing, which I get that they're doing the early access. Okay. Okay. But they're doing early access July 23rd. That You've had so long to work on this. Why is it early accessing? Okay, fine. Fine. It's early accessing. I'm going to be playing it from day one and every single update, etc. Let's let's go back here. Um. So what do we have? Obviously... So... Regular old skeletons, and yeah, destroying furniture. Okay. So, you have the typical classes. We had a ranger before. Um, so, we have Lady Jane. Okay, so this is everyone obviously named differently. But I notice you jump, she you can jump and shoot, and it looks like it's not full. Because before it was pretty much you had just. Like 45 degree angles. It looks like you actually have more control. If we look at this again, look at this arrow shot here. Or actually, maybe it is just a straight 45. But here, yeah, it's still a straight 45. That's fine. But she threw down like some leaves over a spike trap to save herself. Okay. We have the magic wielding mage, and I'm seeing all of these flying hands. So we had mages before. We got mages again. That's fine. So. We have the Hadouken shot, for lack of a better word, which I'm sure is like your your spell is going to drain all of your mana at once. Um, but that looks pretty epic. We have an axe. We have a barbarian again. Yeah, that spinning attack. This thing here. That's a pretty cool attack. So here you can see this like. The, the, like the traits and stuff, like every child is unique. This one was a new one here. They had darkness, which was like a uh, like a, a fog of war around you, which was was a terrible thing. But now this looks like it's more of like zones. Okay, okay, I could. I see. I see what's going on there. Yeah, and we've got the monochrome stuff, the antiquarian. Yep. Okay, this is weird. Like every enemy is pixelated. Yeah, Game Boy mode for sure. Yeah, any every enemy is pixelated. So you can see maybe based by the attack patterns or some of the pixels and some of the colors you'd get to know, but man, that's an interesting trait. Hyper flatulence. Wow. An actual 
Fuck it. Synesthesia. So some of them are just gonna be more cosmetic again. There's your, there's your, there's your turkey plate. Your food for healing still. Looking at the enemies we have here. So we have our flying around mages. We have got the spike ball traps. These guys make a reappearance. The skeleton mages. So these hand things are kind of new. I think these guys are left over as well. Just an upgraded skin on kind of the spear guys from last time. I think is what that is. Pure diva. Wait, wait, what was pure diva? Oh, just that there's flowers everywhere they walk. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I get that. That's funny. The pure diva, I don't think, was the... Maybe, oh, maybe the pure diva is the spotlight and the roses. That could very well be. So you've got your typical town building stuff. Now, expanding your armory... And then he threw the spoon. So you can actually expand the weapons. So you're not stuck with just the basic weapon. Because in the first one, in Rogue Legacy 1, you're tied based upon your character to the weapon that you actually have. Oh my goodness. Yeah, taking a page from Dead Cells for sure there. Um, what is going on here? No, it's just showing. It looks like the arrows are... No, 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 no. Okay, I was right. If you look here, look at this arrow shot down. I can't I can't pause on it apparently. That definitely is a controller base, so that is definitely a dual stick control. Um shot, which was not the case before. So that's at least I don't remember. Oh man, it's been so long since I played it. Okay. That's a cool shot there. I love it. And the pirate biome. The pirate ship. We've got a frozen forest biome. To lift the okay, and what are these things? Is this like a, is this is this a puzzle? Okay, we've got regular old traps. The rooms. So different bosses. So that skeleton, that giant skeleton boss, new boss, or maybe mini boss. I don't know. New boss or mini boss as well. Looks like definitely a boss. He had the Hadouken shot as well. Okay, it's about lifting a curse this time. So, um, as opposed to investigating who killed your father. Or so you think. Oh. Oh, hang on. I, I missed this. Hang on. What is this? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me back up I'm, and not talk over this. I missed this last time. Wait, wait. What was that? No, wait, wait. Hang on. What was this? No, did it back up more? Is this like a a blessing room possibly? Oh. oh, I love everything about this. I love the way this game looks. I love the way I mean, look at just the just the, the graphics here. Like this feels very kind of Hollow Knight esque. In terms of this, when you when I'm seeing these coming out here, you know, it feels a lot more fluid in that way. Okay, not the graphics there, but I love the graph, the art style improvements that they did. It stays true to the original, just making it feel like a more polished game. You know, because a thing about Rogue Legacy is it's a very, it's not like as fluid of a movement as Dead Cells. It's definitely got a very almost choppy, spelunky vibes for sure. Um, spelunky, a little bit of like um, uh, Steam World Dig, a little bit in sort of the art style. Um, I love that throwing a spoon, but it just just these the lighting effects that they have and some of the spells and everything. Uh, very aesthetically pleasing. The coins pop a little more as you need coins. And and these biomes here, I mean, look at the detail there on that. This is very... I mean, look at this. I mean, this is just... It's gorgeous biomes, really. And then there's the frost biome over here. Is that the portal where you... 
mean, what what is that? That is that a is that where you can get the blessings? Maybe like you could in the original game. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Oh my gosh, so many questions. I have to wait a month. Oh, I know. Right now, I'm taking that. I'm taking. I'm taking some time off of work, though. Of course. Hang on a second here. Hang on. Let me look at. When is. Oh my, it's going to be a busy July. because Okay, but I won't be streaming that one, but um, Paper Mario, the next Paper the Origami King is releasing July 17th. Um, and this release date was what? July 23rd. Oh, literally less than a week later, but that's a Thursday. No, yeah, it's a Thursday. So literally, I think I'm taking Thursday, Friday off of work. We're streaming a ton that weekend is what that means. That's what that means. It could be a teleport. Yeah, there were teleport. It does look a lot like. Yeah, you're right. That looks a lot like the teleports in the original game as well. But I do love the look of this this skeleton boss here as well. That's just cool looking. And also the different characters themselves, the different hats, etc. Still sticking with just the plain armor and the the, the, the greaves. Oh, leave your mark. Cellar door games. This this was is what I'm waiting for. I mean, the you know, whatever the the Furies game. What was that called? That came out a couple years ago that they made. Uh, it was basically a multiplayer game. Oh my gosh, that's so hype! That's so hype! Oh, I can't even. Uh. That is going to be a good game. I'm excited. So put it on your calendars, July 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th. You'll be seeing that game here. I got to make a new overlay. I got to make a Rogue Legacy overlay in this style. Now that I have the layout down, I just need to make new frames. That's Rogue Legacy style. Uh. Oh, I'm so excited. Ah. Rogue Legacy, um, the first one was like the game that got me into the roguelite genre. Um, I had no idea about it. I, I My friend Norges, who's actually in our Discord occasionally, occasionally he'll pipe up with something, was actually a friend of mine from college. And uh, we played video games and stuff together, you know, post-college and everything. And I asked him if he had any, had any, video, any recent video game recommendations of stuff he'd played. And this is like four years ago, I think. And he goes, yeah, um, I played Rogue Legacy. You should really check it out. It, 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 you have to stick with it. Was what he said, just stick with it. It's really hard early. You'll die a lot, but just stick with it. It gets really fun by the end of the game. You know, once you've really mastered the game and you get good at it and you've leveled up a little bit too. Because Rogue Legacy is a little bit different from like, say, well, it was kind of like Dead Cells, but different from like a, you know, a Necro Dancer or um, like a Binding of Isaac that, you know, you actually are leveling up as well as gaining skill. Like Dead Cells, to a certain extent, you're doing the same thing as well. You're leveling up and gaining skill at the same time. I don't feel like Dead Cells has as much scaling. Like, you significantly level up your character to the point where you're one-hitting guys that used to take five hits. So it's, it's, a, very, it's a big difference in Rogue Legacy. So that's another question is, I wonder if they're still going to go with that much of a scale with your upgrades or if it's going to be a different type of upgrade system i don't really know i am intrigued by that i do want to find out um yeah what that's going to kind of be like i oh can't wait <laughs>